Hello, hello, how are you? This is Jilly Gwynn. Today's project is using a stamp set that I love, that I bought, and I never used, and it's about to retire. So I pulled out a few other things that are retiring or have already retired, and I'm gonna make a card using, a different card, using each of these beautiful images. So today is the one with a puppy, and if you hear the puppy here in the background making crunching noises, he just was, I think he knows we're going on vacation, but he's very needy, and so I gave him his favorite. And I could say it right now, because he won't freak out, I gave him a bully stick. And he is as happy as can be, and he just got it, so it'll probably last him five minutes. But, that's what all the noise is. So here's today's project. And these are retired papers. You probably have them, you probably recognize them. A Little bit of retired ribbon, but I think any, any color ribbon, I was even thinking something in the pink lines would be nice, just to kind of soften it up. Or the soft sea foam would be nice. So in the moment, stylish shapes for the circle. And then this is retired, layering circles for the scallop circle behind. The stylish shapes circle. So that's today's plan. Oh, and here are the papers. I don't even have the names on them to tell you what they're called. But this one, I think it just retired, and then this one retired about a year ago. But anything you have will work just fine. And sometimes you want to use up your stuff too, so it's a good chance to go through, look at what all you have and make something fun. Okay, so this is for the words, tear tape will need. These are for the circles, color swatching. So these are the circles, so I'll cut those out. Those are gonna go in here. In my thoughts, I stamped this one, but I think it's a little crooked. I'll try that again on here. And what else do we have? Okay, we have circles. The circle paper is cut to three and five eighths by three and five eighths for both the crumb cake and vanilla piece. Okay, let me turn these off to the side. So this piece, which is this one here that we're gonna tear, texture and then tear. This one is, oh, I didn't write that down. Three and a half by four. And I'll hold this up here in just a minute. Three and a half by four. Okay, so I'm gonna texture this piece using the, and you can hardly tell, um, so you don't have to texture if you don't want to, or maybe if you had a more subtle paper rather than this busy pattern, you could see the layered florals on it a little bit better. But just for a little bit of extra texture, I'm going to use the embossing folder. That's right here. Okay, let's just start from the bottom of the card. I'm getting confused. So the base paper, which is Pebbled Path, one of my favorites, is five and a half by eight and a half. And then on top of that is this piece of designer paper. And this is five and a quarter by four. And I keep expecting this to run out. And it keeps going, which I love. Oh, there it is. That's it. I knew it was going to happen. It's such a good, strong adhesive, though. I like that. talked about these pieces so for the inside I have these two little pieces let me show you what the inside looks like again and it's just to add a little interest and these are three quarters of an inch 
I didn't even put these on here. What should I call this? DSP inside. Three quarters by four. You might have to trim it. And I'm going to tear this one. So when you're tearing, if you pull it toward you, you'll see the white core. If you do it the other direction, here, I'll hold it up here in just a minute. Okay, so see how you see the white core right here? And if we did it the other way, and I know this part will be covered, so that's fine. So now you can really see the white core. So which way do you want? Do you want just the roughed up edge? Like this kind of roughed up, or do you want to see the white core? Because we're using vanilla, I think I like it this way best. But I think as soon as you're aware of that, you can easily change up however you're doing it to the other way. That could go off. That's going to be hidden. So let's stick these together since we're on task. Piece of remover. Okay, so that, and then just a little bit showing. Oh, he's getting that thing. Okay, and inside pieces are five and a quarter by four for crumb cake. Vanilla is five by three and three quarters. So here we go. Screenshot. Okay, let's get to building this. I think next is to tear this one. And I don't want the white showing. And this one, I'm gonna be purposely a little crazy, like back and forth, like it's, it's all ragged. You know, like a comfy old pair of jeans. And because this is so textured, I think the stamp and seal would work. Let me try stamp and seal. It's easier. It has an applicator. I don't have to do the tearing and peeling. Okay. This goes right to the edge. Sometimes he chews that thing so loud, I'm thinking, are you breaking your teeth? He never has broke teeth. It's probably because he exercises them like that. Okay, next is a circle, and I'm going to stamp on this in Memento, because I'll color it with the blends. Okay, that should be good. Bo just had a bath yesterday. He smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna give that just a second to dry, and then I'll color it. So for now, I'll put dimensionals onto onto the back. So a lot of things on um, the Stampin' Up! online store are on sale. A lot of the retiring things are on sale. So if you want anything and you don't already have a demonstrator, if you could use this host code, I'd appreciate it. Um, but some things are up to 60% off. Okay, how long was that? That was seven minutes. And he's done with probably the biggest bully stick they make. Yeah. Let's see if he relaxes because dad is out mowing the Tony's out mowing the grass and I think he wants to be out there but be, he just had a bath satin ribbon I have so much of this this is like 10 10 rolls of it I miss it okay so to do this Take that, think of where do you want it. You want it right about there. 
And then here, and I'm not worried about what it looks like on the back. If it's all wrinkled up, that's okay. Maybe right about like that. Not too much, because the card isn't that big. And this can go here. That, I like that little bit showing through. Okay, I'm going to have to make it a little funky on the back. Okay, let me see how that looks. Because I can always pull it up. This one I think maybe it's too low. Well, it's better. I think the satin makes it just a little bit more girly. <laughs> he thinks he needs to go out. Hold on. Okay, you tell Dad what you've been doing. You tell him. It's a high-maintenance dog. Okay, so... Let me put... Dimensionals on here. We still have to color the front. And I have different colors picked out than the sample. Okay. This time, you know, on this one, I put it right in the middle of the designer paper. Where's those words that I'm going to redo? That's kind of fun, huh? How about like that? Actually, those words don't look too bad. I'll try it one time, and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to use these. Okay, so in Memento, here are my thoughts. That one's pretty good. Well, what did I, since I have the ink pad out. Well, listen to these words. These are really nice. Sometimes the most productive thing you could do is relax. And I take that to extreme. I relax plenty. Oh, no white paper. Vanilla paper. I know so many people that love books. This would be perfect. Here are my thoughts. Just relax. Okay, this could go into the tray for future use. So this I'm just going to do at an angle. It's kind of small. This is inside. Might as well do this. Oh, you know, I wanted to trim this first. Well, that one I have it all the way across to the crumb cake. This one I'll try, try trimming it on here. Okay, I'm going to stick it down. I'm looking at which side do I like better. Maybe this one has a little bit more, so how about that side? And put it right there. I want a little bit of the vanilla at the bottom showing through. Just for an extra little bit of um, details. Maybe, looking at this paper, maybe I should have used that side. Let 
that, that's kind of a whole lot of texture and a whole lot of busy. Okay, I'm not going to do that. But this next one, I want to use Moody Mauve in coloring the girl in her blanket. Okay, we're done with the inside. Then this is going to go right, right here. with mini dimensionals. Okay, so let's get to coloring because otherwise the card is done. So coloring, so I was doing this, trying to figure out things like, do, do all the colors go together? And I'm going to have her hair in a little bit lighter brown, her pillow and blanket in petal pink, her blanket she has over her shoulders in moody mauve, the dog just the same in granite, her pants in pebbled to match this, and her coffee cup in Pretty in Pink. So I think all of those colors go nicely with this. These are a little bit different, a little bit um, brighter, but this, this will be good. And I'm not sure why I have Smoky Slate there. I'm sure I'll remember in a minute. Okay, so the dog is gonna be in granite. And he's gonna have a white tummy, just because Bo has a white tummy. And then here's a leg, that one's hiding, so that one all gets to be granite dark. And then down here, shadows. See, that is one happy, snuggling pup. I love it. Underneath her fingers can be granite dark, and maybe on the shadows in the ears. There's no shadow there. And I have the eyes being colored and the snout being white. Isn't it funny now I'm thinking, how, how is Bo? Are his, because I know he's mostly white with spots. Oh my gosh, where is that dog? I should know this. This could be, that could be her pants. Okay, granite, light. Tummy is colored. Eyes are colored. Ears are colored. Okay, now I'll really color it. So Tony went to the dump today, which he does like every month or so. And um, he wanted to leave Bo in, just like he did now. I think he's trying to keep him clean. I don't know. Because yeah, that bath, he smells good. And um, he left. I was in the shower. Bo was over there, oh, whining. Like, let me out. And he was whining so much that I just knew Tony had brought the luggage in. Because the dog knows when luggage comes in. That it means my people are going away. He was whining that much. But that's not the fact. He was just being a baby. I'm looking at this like, is that her leg skin? But I think it is the socks. Because on this one, I did it all as um, socks. Okay, so for her hair, I'm going to do SU 300 everywhere. 
and then I'm going to do SU200 just for um, like shadows. Or as my haircut girl says, let's do some low lights. Okay. Still don't remember what the smoky slate is for. I will know here in just a minute though. Okay, and then petal pink is gonna be the pillows and the blanket down here. So I'll start out with everything in petal pink light. Petal pink light kind of matches her skin tone. Oh, the blanket goes way here, way down here to the dog. Oh, petal pink might be too close to... Oh, I was going to do that in Moody Mob. Okay, there's a way to fix it. So when you do a whoops like that, there's a way to fix it. So now I'm going to do petal pink dark for some shadows. Okay, so the blends, the theory is one color could co color cover another color. Including if you put down a dark color such as navy, you could put a lighter color over the top and it will cover it. And that's why it blends so well. So let's give that a test. Okay, so all this is now going to become Moody Mauve. Should I let it dry first? It still feels cool. Okay, and the book is going to be, her pants are going to be pebbled. Let's just do that for now. I can't believe I did that. I had to just color in a way. And now that is a snuggle puppy. trying to get two layers of color to make a thoroughly pebble path light. Okay, so now I'll go back with the darker and put a few shadows in. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what is that little section right there? Okay, let me see about, let's do her cup in Pretty in Pink. Now do the lifter just to kind of soften that up right in the middle where I left no color okay on to doing fixing the whoops mauve Let's see how it's gonna look oh 
And I'll definitely have to do two layers of color just to make sure that it isn't um, any of the petal pink showing through. Should go a good way to tell because I didn't do this side. This side is all just straight mauve. That's, it looks like it did the trick. Two layers, because that one definitely looks darker than this one, more saturated. But sometimes if you go over it and over it and over it, the, um, the marker bleeds outside the memento ink line, and that's not good. Okay, so for detailing, By the puppy, this looks like a crease. So, success, colored over the top. Okay, and a little bit of detail over here. I think that's a swoosh from the coffee. Should I pretend like it's a blanket? Well, this side has blanket swooshes on it. I don't think I should have color going down into the cup there. The handle, whoops. I kind of like this combo. Okay, let me try to fix with this, that little bit of color, I don't want that there. Okay, now her book, what color did I decide for her book? Pans, maybe that's the slate. Well, what color should her book be? Maybe the pink. You can have a pink book, right? Pink it is. Pretty and pink. I'm trying to be careful now. I just sit there and think, okay, is that the right area? Is that the right color? I probably should have done it in crumb cake. Just because I have little crumb cake accents on this card. And I'm not picking up the crumb cake anywhere. I kind of overcolored it here. My moody mauve is drifting into the petal pink. Just pretend like you didn't see that, right? A little bit of shadow. Okay. And her socks are going to be in dog color, which is granite. Oh, I had to do her pants back behind the dog. So I just went with Re to Kohl's. So we went last week because I wanted to get just a few things for our upcoming trip. There's one girl and she always wears dresses. She looks like the cutest thing. I'm like, I want some dresses. I haven't bought dresses in a while. So I went there mostly to get dresses. I found all kinds of stuff. And I am, I'll tell you, I am a power shopper. Where I go in, 
take stuff in my size and check out and I'll try it on at home. And strangely, it usually works. This time, everything that I picked out worked, which is awesome. Okay, that's good, great, success. But then Kohl's, you know what they do. They give you that darn Kohl's cash. So guess what? I had to wait a few days and it was burning a hole in my pocket. So yesterday we went out to lunch and I said to Ree, I said, I have to spend it. If I don't spend it now, it's not gonna get spent. And that's a 30, if I tell you how much, $30. That's just gonna be a waste. I have to spend it. She's like, okay. I said, I'm gonna be really fast. You know how I power shop. Do you wanna come with? She goes, oh yeah, I'll come with. So I bought, with the $30, two pair of stay home, you know, stay, we all have stay home clothes. Stay home clothes, like jogger pants, um, with an elastic waist, I'm wearing them right now. And um, I love them. And I got out of there for $5.11 for two pairs of jogger pants. Yeah, and I spend my money. But re help me. She goes, how about this? I'm like, oh, like that. That looks good, huh? Okay, so on this one, did you notice that back behind her, she has like a little bit of a, a pool party light shadow? Just a little bit. Well, here. This one around the outside, it looks all crisp and clean. That one has the shadow. So I'm gonna do just, just like a little add-on. I might do it bigger. This one I did kind of narrow using the bullet tip. This time I might try it a little bit bigger. And then I'll use the color lifter to soften it up a little bit. And also, if I colored outside the lines anywhere, this gives me an opportunity to fix it. Don't worry, it's gonna look better than this. This is a big old, big old thing. Okay. Done with that. Now, bullet tip, and I'm gonna go from the vanilla, no color on the paper, into the pool party. Vanilla pool party, vanilla pool party. There's a reason I do that. So if ever you're coloring with blends, using the color lifter, color lifter is awesome. And first of all, when you look at that, you're like, what, what is that? That, that doesn't look so good. Once the color lifter alcohol, alcohol marker, it dries, it'll dry to right back to that um, vanilla color. So the color lifter is good for fixing whoopses if you color outside the line and then also things like this. Or if you have like a leaf and you want to put a highlight in it, like on the top of maybe it's a shiny leaf, it's good for that. Um, but it's really nice if you take a minute to try and play around with the color lifter so you know what to expect. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Okay. As that dries, it's gonna look really good. So this is bullet tip pool party light around the outside. This one is just the brush tip and it's considerably a lot bigger. So where's that paper? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna do it in a light color. And once you, you see this and you understand how it works, um, it'll help you when you're blending colors just because you know how it how it acts. So, color lifter. If you go right in the middle of it, the color lifter is going to take the color, push it through to the back of the paper, but it's going to be leave like a heavy outline like oil water. Okay. So, when you see that, see how there's the heavy outline around it? That's not what we're going for. But if you 
And if you do it with lighter colors, it's not such a drastic difference. So if you start in the vanilla, see how my um, blending pen is in the vanilla? Start out here, it's wet, you can see it wet. Drift into there, and then come back out. So you really don't get the heavy puddle around the outside of where you colored. But if you look at how it looks, it's kind of mottled, kind of blotchy, which is just what it does. There's really no getting around that. But if you use light pebbled path, this is dark pebbled path, and say you're coloring in an area, knowing what alcohol markers do, it would be fine if you went from light pebble path. I'm going to do two layers. And I'm hoping that those will look obviously different. Two layers, and then when you go over the seam, even if it is that splotchy look, that's okay because the colors are so similar. And that's what makes it look like it's um, blended. So all of that, moral of the story, getting to the point, is just try playing around with the color lifter before you put it onto your card, just so you know what to expect. And even when blending, like here's pebble, or um, what is it? Petal pink, dark, petal pink light. You know how they look when they blend together, just so you know what to expect. And also, if on just a scrap paper, you're like, well, how do all those colors look together? And then put them on here. It's like that all kind of works. But just test it. I mean, it, it takes just a little bit longer, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so let's see how the girl shadow turned out. Girl shadow, bold. I kind of like this one better. This one is a little bit more narrow, but this one is definitely, it's stronger. It creates a background. Okay, are we done? I think we're done. We're done. Okay, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.